A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. Senator J.D. Vance was booed by firefighters at a convention Thursday as he attempted to woo one of the country's biggest unions. Vance, whose address to the International Association of Firefighters IFF, in Boston was a late addition to the schedule following an appearance by his rival Tim Walls, told the first responders that they were the embodiment of the American spirit. In a wide-ranging speech that touched on everything from inflation to drug addiction, the Republican vice presidential nominee faced a tough crowd and was repeatedly booed by attendees. It sounds like we got some fans and some haters here, Vance said. That's okay. Let me tell you my side. Vance told the room that he has brought his children to fire stations across the country to thank them personally for their service. He further struck a personal note when thanking them for the second chance they gave his mother, who has previously struggled with drug addiction and was once rushed to the hospital by firefighters. You all are the embodiment of the American spirit, Vance said. This country was built because of you. It's great because of people like you, and I believe you deserve someone loyal to you. Vance went on to hold a moment of silence for IFF members who have lost their lives. The Republican vice presidential nominee was a surprise addition to the convention, following a talk by Governor Tim Walls on Wednesday. Both parties are vying for the IFF's endorsement. The union endorsed Biden in 2020, but a spokesperson told Newsweek it does not have a comment at this time on whether the union will endorse a candidate this election. Vance asked the union to ignore the party rhetoric and focus on people's records. He added that he was once a never-Trumper, but changed his stance after a firefighter friend's comments about pension raises and Trump's commitment and dedication to the health, the safety and prosperity of our fire responders. He also pledged that Republicans will continue researching the high rates of cancer among firefighters. When Vance said that he and Trump were proud to be the most pro-worker and union Republican ticket in history, his comments were met with more boos. Walls, a union member himself, has said that he and Vice President Kamala Harris will fight to protect the firefighters' benefits, compensation, and safe working conditions. As a governor, Walls said he bolstered resources for firefighter training and education. This is going to impact you, Walls said. These are things that matter to us. Some of you in here, I know what you're thinking. When Republicans used to talk about freedom, they meant it, not anymore. They want the government to invade every part of our life, from our union halls to schools. DNC Rapid Response Director Alex Floyd told Newsweek the former President Donald Trump and Vance Ticket are anti-union and anti-worker. J.D. Vance doesn't stand with workers. He only stands with Donald Trump as part of the most anti-union, anti-worker ticket in American history, Floyd said. Trump is an anti-union scab who has broken promises to workers time and time again. And Vance is standing right behind Trump as he praises firing striking workers and pushes an extreme Project 2025 agenda to rig the economy for billionaires and big corporations. Working people know who stands with them. Vice President Kamala Harris and former union member Governor Tim Walz. Stephen Stein, the president of the Columbus Firefighters IFF Local 67, told Newsweek the IFF leadership offered a talking opportunity to both parties' nominees. I think that it's great that we have political candidates that are willing to speak with us and engage and hear about our issues, Stein said. Demographically, the Republicans are obviously becoming more of a working-class party. People who work in the trades, people who work in factories were maybe much more Democratic 40 years ago than they are today, Vance previously told Newsweek. So, it's not surprising that, as the people who support Republicans are themselves members of, or at least adjacent to, organized labor that you're seeing more and more labor unions support Republicans, which I think is a virtuous cycle for our party. A Gallup survey released in May found that 46% of Republicans consider themselves working or lower class, as opposed to 35% of Democrats. In contrast, 62% of Democrats considered themselves upper middle or middle class compared to 53% of Republicans. Charles Huddleston, from Ohio, told Newsweek that IFF workers like anyone that supports the union, regardless of political party. Florida Representative Carlos Jimenez, the only firefighter elected to Congress, introduced Vance. He said Harris has raised inflation and made the border a disaster. Just like how we respond to the bell when someone is in trouble, America is in trouble right now, Jimenez said. 
I'm excited to introduce a man who's dedicated to the interest of the people. Ed Kelly, IFF General President, spoke about him in us. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.